what is an abstract class partial implementation for an object and objects cannot be instantiated for an abstract class you cannot create an object for an abstract class please have this in mind can be used as a super class so when you want to implement those methods what you have to do is you have to go and extend that abstract class and you have to implement that so abstract classes are incomplete and only subclasses should provide the missing details so when i extend an abstract class it is mandatory for me to provide the definition for the methods that are abstract in my super class so abstract classes you cannot instantiate you cannot uh, you know when you when you really extend that inherit that you have to provide the definitions for all those methods that are abstract so let's take an abstract class here i have given an example abstract class shape say there is one abstract method compute area so you can have two different shapes circle and square say for a shape compute area has got no meaning right a shape can be anything just is a generic thing so where you define the uh, you know method compute area for a circle you can say what is the area for a square you can say what is the area but for a shape you cannot really define what area is so in that case this one becomes an abstract method and you see a circle inherits inherits or i can say there's a generalization relationship so we have a generalization relationship here too and what is mandatory when you inherit an abstract class it is mandatory that you tell what is the definition for compute area in your derived classes okay so this is how you know this, this again contains the uml uh, notation too how can you define whether a class is an abstract class i showed you in argo uml if you select one particular class there is an option to say is abstract so when i create that to be is abstract it means that it is an abstract class for some abstract methods okay interface that's some some definition about abstract classes and uh, how we can inherit abstract classes what is mandatory when you inherit an abstract class what is an interface at a very higher level the definition for an interface is all the methods in an interface are abstract methods of course there is an exception to that using another uh, keyword uh, i think default keyword but uh, i'm not going to explain that <laughs> so what is an interface it is a protocol for a class for instance you can have a student class a student interface and what all methods a student can perform on the system right so that becomes a set of abstract methods so an interface all the methods are bound to be abstract okay that's what it says interface can contain only abstract methods the methods are abstract and public by default so the methods for your interfaces cannot be any other it can't have any other visibility interfaces cannot be instantiated because all the methods are abstract interfaces do not have a constructor interface can contain only static and final variables that are public again when a class implements an interface it should go and provide the definition for all the methods that are abstract in the interface a class can implement many interfaces so you, that's that's some uh, you know introduction to interfaces again i have provided an inter implementation of what is an interface how it is implemented in java with an example in this lecture if you are not clear about interfaces please go and visit this lecture understand the various properties of interfaces and why we use them so class can implement an interface it's not inheritance it's it's implementing an interface let's take a look at the uml notation for interfaces say you de define an interface in java by giving the keyword interface and then the interface name so here shape is an interface and you see all the methods here are abstract we don't have definition for any of the methods so it becomes an interface and uh, the class square actually implements what you say in java it is implements this interface the keyword implements is used for implementing an interface so in uml you call this realization it's not generalization it's realization when you're working with an interface so here we have another class rectangle so it's realization 
and what is the notation a dotted arrow mark and this arrow head should be pointing to your interface okay so let's go and uh, you know try and create shape class uh, i'll i'll create a shape interface and then i'll create a square class try to have this realization relationship between these two classes so it means that this interface is being implemented by this class so it should provide the definition for all the methods that are abstract in my interface okay so let's uh, go and uh, try that how to model an interface in your uh, argo uml let me delete all these things so we have a separate notation for interfaces in argo uml so this is the interface so you have to just put that here so it says that's an interface and you can give a name for this interface that is uh, i'll say shape and i can add some methods here add new operation and this operation can be uh, compute area okay and the obviously that method is an abstract method and you have a class this class is uh, let's say circle and there is a realization uh, relationship between an interface and a class so where will you find this you see this dotted arrow mark new re new realization we just connect it we just click on this connect these two classes so you can very well go and generate code generate all classes you can generate java code for this we'll check what is the code that is getting generated when you go for implementation of uh, uh, this uh, realization so let me go to this folder choose a folder generate that's it code gets generated we'll go to this folder we'll see there's the shape so you see here now it is not defined as a class it's said to be an interface shape and uh, this method public abstract void compute area so there's an abstract method in my interface and uh, there is another method that should implement this interface right what is that method this circle you can see here public class circle implements shape so it's implementing that particular interface it means you have to provide the definition for all the abstract methods here are you all clear with this